Oh, hello. Shaved because apparently the fever broke last night and I just like had the whole like ick in the bed and stuff like that. Oh, we're having an issue this morning because despite the fact that we had two, two and a half weeks of sunshine, it is now raining. And all of that dust and fine sand and all that stuff has gathered in our train on our balcony. And can you guys... All right, I have to get down and look at this obliquely. <laughs> Yeah, it's the uh, it's 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 a bit flooded. So, Aaron's got a call with someone. I'm heading to the store. I'm heading to the gym. I'm doing a bunch of stuff. It's not a busy day for him, but it's still like, oh Jesus, we are gonna have to do my eyebrows later. I literally just saw one sticking out, and it was just like trying to poke me in the pupil. Mm. Yeah, they didn't take much. Started a whirlpool and everything. Oh, well, there's a cigarette butt that's from one of our neighbors is dancing in the whirlpool. I'm not going back out there. But yeah, it's it's draining pretty easily now. It's just that there was a lot of uckum on it that like created this. It just was covered. Like sometimes it happens in the fall. It happened in the fall when we had like just a pure leaf over it, and I just never saw it because brown on dark green. <laughs> so yeah. We're good. We're good. So, oh, that's kit bacon. Don't eat that. Pesto, pesto, where's the thing? There it is. Try not to grab a lot today. Huh. This is the last week. Here's the thing. Much like everyone else, I am not fond of face masks. And I wear it because I have to. However, in the next, I think it's the 26th they said. I don't have to. You don't have to do it indoors, just on train stations and stuff. But I can already tell that a lot of people are just giving up on their face mask thing. Speed's cold. Speed's cold, speed's cold, speed's cold, speed's cold. And then, again, I was still thinking about making my own damn thing because this is a crock of crap. If you guys were on my live stream, you can see. Look at that. Look at those ingredients. What? Look, I'm already, I'm fond of sauerkraut and mashed potatoes, but do not, please do not stick raisins in it. But I can't buy a lot today because I only have the backpack and yeah. So tacos, go get meat, uh, think. Uh. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Don't need the other cheese at home, we have way too much. Four soups, one for me before I go to the gym, two jars, protein. This stuff is delicious. Lettuce, meat. I'm going by the gym today. That's at 2.20, 2.45. Again, just more cardio. I'm a bit weirded out by that second weight result from them. And I'm like, ah, I don't know what to do. Like, how did I, like, it seems weird to go from 105 kilos to 102 kilos in three weeks. And to be fair, I mean, a kilo of food is I mean, a kilo of, like, you know, anything is, um, I mean, just for instance, this stuff is basically just yogurt. Danios, this whole thing is half a kilo. I mean, think about that. You, you, you know how big this is. It's half a kilo of yogurt. It's 450 grams, so. <laughs> it's pretty easy to eat something a little bit more dense than fluid, especially if you're eating, like, meat or something. I mean, having a whole kilogram of food sounds like a lot to probably the Dutch. They're... I think we're gonna do that one for TikTok today. Um, poor man's food in my country is a rich man's food here, at least for lunch. <laughs> the BLT. Well, that video is going a little bit, as expected, viral. <laughs> I recorded it while I was outside Iber, so, while well, I was on Iber, I was outside Albert Hein, anyways. I've already gotten several responses on it. <laughs> One of them is a slice of cheese. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna start learning how to come to terms with some things. I had to tell someone on Twitter that I thank them for following me, but they should probably save their follow spots for people that matter. Um, as they're a 
sports reporter and just because I'm an American in Europe doesn't necessarily mean that I'm elite to spend time to report on. That's what I have this for. <laughs> I learned my lesson without sports and after a fashion not to trust sports reporters. I mean a few scouting agencies and stuff have followed me over the time but with a little app thing I have I check I have it check what my follows and unfollows are because I was getting like a lot of follows and I was like what the hell how am I getting so many follows because it never tells you if someone unfollows you so mainly because I had a lot of people from the the sports uh, conference back in 2015 follow me and then after it was done <laughs> and you know I'd start tweeting about World of Warcraft they unfollowed me so I keep track of that. That last minute I cranked it up to nine kilometers an hour and did a jog up the hill um, trying to see if my if doing jogging here will activate the neck because technically if it doesn't activate it here but it does at the field that means there's literally something at the field that's doing it or I have to run some tests and I might some other time here soon run some like speed tests like jog for a little bit at like a set speed and see if that causes it after like a minute um, and then stop calm down walk a little bit if anything and then speed it back up to I don't know like 11 kilometers an hour see if that's about too much for me we'll figure out if there's a certain speed that does it but who knows I'm gonna go hit up the uh I'm gonna go see if grandma's on the uh leg stretcher Afert and I talked a lot um he's curious about the United States because he's never been um, I feel really bad because I'm dispelling a lot of myths, but it's good that the truth is coming out, I guess. All right, so grandma wasn't on the thing and I wound up getting the hamstring stretch, but with this thing here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a little bit of chest press, nothing heavy, but just get some work in and see about this nerve issue because my issue is it doesn't, it only hurts when I seem to be extending it and overextending it. But like, which is good for football because I don't really want to lock my arms. I mean, I do, but I don't after a fashion. Um, but I think I overextended it inside. So that might have been what hurt. Um, I'm going to see about looking at the physio guy that's here, see if I can set up an appointment with him or if I need Vicky to. Let me get some press in here. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't... You guys probably heard it. Ooh. So, because I have very lightweight on there. Like, I didn't want to have just the bar, because that's nothing to me. But I put on at least 10 kilos on each side, which is like 22 pounds, and that's still nothing to the point where I was pushing this thing up in the air, and I grabbed onto it, and it pulled my arm. So that tells me there's something probably wrong with the elbow joint, and I should go see a physiotherapist. I... I feel like I wished for more socialization and the universe sent me effort. Because I'm sitting here like, do I need to set some boundaries with this guy? Not that he's asking bad questions, he's just feels like he might be a bit lonely in his own life. But then again, many of the Dutch tend to kind of focus on talking to me because I'm the American, I'm weird, and I'm willing to talk without having Anyway, so I picked up a new drink. Um, 
cocos, ananas, and curcuma. And I'm just like, cool, it's got coconut, pineapple, and a Pokemon in it. Uh, it is 40% yogurt. See on the back here is a fruit. 44% ananas, 9% mango. 40% uh, mahra yogurt. 4% honey, 1% cocos extract. Water and 0.3% curcuma. And then ascorbic acid and aroma. I don't even know what curcuma is. Oh, it's a root. I still don't know what that is. Oh, pineapple. Yogurt. Interesting. I mean, this is fucking yellow. Dang, that's actually really good. Dang. And my train is coming. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, not sure exactly what I'm doing. Might do stairs, been rainy today. So, didn't do that one. Well, good evening, everyone. I was sweeping off the thing earlier and I wanted to make sure that the uh, um, broom was relatively dried off from unclogging that thing earlier today. It's, uh, you guys will probably see more on Thursdays. We'll have better cloud cover, but, or less cloud cover. It is currently 10, 12 at night. I'll probably do another one tomorrow night, near the end. Like, right when the actual sun sets at like 10.22. Um, be a little bit better. We had a lot of cloud cover and rain today, so hopefully it'll clear out. But look at that. Like you, like, you can tell the sun has just set when that's happening to the clouds. Coming here at the summer solstice is one of those things you probably should put on the uh, bucket list. Even with a cloudy day, it's still super bright at night. And it's one of those like sunrises at like 5.18 this morning and sunset is not until like 10.22. We have 16 hours and 48 minutes of actual daylight. Um, and then civil twilight goes for another hour. Um, but you'll see on Thursday, we're this Monday and yeah, we'll, you'll see Thursday as I'm leaving practice.